actually that was poor from him there. He should have stopped that and had a look round to see if there was anybody going to help him, but he doesn't do those things. No, indeed. Uh, John, let, let's look at uh, a little bit more Ronaldo because he'll be in the, the back pages, front pages of all the newspapers tomorrow. He'll get all the headlines. Yeah, well, he deserves to. Just as he likes You know, there wasn't much in the game. And, and again, you know, a close game, Dara, and it's, it's more or less settled by a set piece. You know, it's, 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 it's a peculiar game like that football, isn't it? Like it's, this is the second goal. Could have been offside, but it's, it's very close. This is not, he's not a mile away there either, Darry. You know, he's got uh, got his range from the free kicks. Could have got a penalty in the first half. I think he might have scored there if uh, Collins doesn't pull him down. You know, he was always dangerous, and you know, he's so he's so good in the air. And they, that's their tactic, really. Portugal they put loads of crosses yeah. in, don't they? Because they know they know how good he is, you know. And that's something that teams playing against them, whether it's France or whether it's Germany, I've got to watch him in the box, in the air. It's very hard to stop that because he, we saw there. I think Liam explained it, a positional sense of not going into the box wasn't well, it wasn't right to go into the box and getting in the right position. You know, no matter how well organised you are, a good header, it's very very hard to stop him because he has this genius, I would call it, around the goals to get into the right position at the right time. And we saw tonight. Who, Eamon, are Portugal going to be playing in the final? Uh, well, I think France uh, I, would be my fancy because Hummels is out, suspended. Uh, and that's a blow to Germany, a serious blow. Kadira uh, went off in the last game. He's not going to be a fit. He's out of the tournament. Uh, Gomez, who I wouldn't say is a great player by any means, but he's a goal scorer. And Muller, the other goal scorer, is way out of form. Gomez is out as well. And there's a doubt about Schweinsteiger's fitness, which is a bit of a joke, because I don't think he could possibly be fit. He hasn't played a match for Manchester United more than 20 minutes of a match since January, and he's doubtful as well. So they may be a bit light, but France have a desperately poor back four. Uh, but they, uh, Griezmann and Giroud are on fire. Kante, I fancy France, but not strongly. That game could go either way, but I think France. Yeah. Well, it's all been set up for France, hasn't it? Right from the off with the with the with the group they were in, uh, then the you know the the rest in between matches and the ticket situation and and, 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 and now as Eamon ex has explained to you they're f uh, they're going to be facing a depleted German team so uh, I would I would fancy France for all the reasons that Eamon has given you. One more, John. Who? France or Germany? I'll go for France. Okay. All right. Looking forward to it tomorrow night. Join us at seven o five. That's all we got time for this evening. And my sincere.